Hi, Steve Graves again with the Department of Geography at Cal State Northridge. This is uh, part three of a video series regarding using ArcMap to examine scale projection, latitude, and longitude for Geography 102. In this last segment, what we're going to do is to zoom in on Los Angeles uh, to the San Fernando Valley to see the effect of projection on a large scale map. Um, we're also going to change projection to something that is more logical for large scale mapping. And we're going to um, take a look at changing scales and the scale boxes. So let's get started. When you last left off from the previous video, you were in this uh, conic projection from the pole. What I want you to do is to click on to activate the layers Northridge Area Streets and Northridge Area Zips. Check them on and then right click on the words Northridge Area Zips. From this drop down menu select Zoom to Layer and what this will do is zoom the extent to the selected layer. Click once and there we have zoomed in to the San Fernando Valley. Now it may look unusual to you and that is because in this projection you will find that north is actually over in the lower right hand corner of the map window. We are accustomed to seeing north at the direct top of the map window. This is why you must carefully pick your projection particularly for large-scale maps or those sorts of maps where you're zoomed into a small location or a local area. In order to find a better projection for a local area, it is helpful to know the central meridian or the longitude that runs through the middle of the scene that you want to map. And if you place your cursor right on CSUN, which is the red object or the red polygon here, you will notice that it is negative 118.527. And so we want to find a projection that has negative 118 or something close to that as its central meridian of the projection. How do we do that? Well, click on View and from the drop-down menu select Data Frame Properties. The projections we've been working with are global projections and they don't work very well for large-scale maps such as this one or zoomed in local areas. So scroll up until you reach the top of the world projections. Select or expand the UTM projections by clicking on the plus button. Scroll down to the folder WGS 1984. Expand that folder by clicking once on the plus sign to the left of that folder. Repeat that process with the folder Northern Hemisphere and select from the list of Northern Hemisphere projections WGS 1984 UTM Zone 11 North. Click once on it and note that the central meridian is negative 117. That is the meridian that is closest to running through the middle of the western San Fernando Valley. Click OK and note the change in projection. Press pause and answer a question or perhaps two. The last part of this assignment asks you to better understand the concept of scale. 
Note in the upper toolbar there is a scale indicator and this is the ratio of units on the map to units in the real world. Right click on Northridge area zips, select zoom to layer, note the map scale, and answer a question. This question will be slightly different for different people depending on the browser that you're using or the screen size. Hopefully Moodle will mark your answer correct. Next, using the zoom tool, which looks like a magnifying glass with a plus sign in the middle, click and drag a box around CSUN's campus, which appears in red, so that CSUN's campus occupies most of the map window. Answer a question about the scale and press pause. As you can see, this is a good projection for mapping Northridge or the San Fernando Valley, but it will present some problems for a smaller scale map. Click on the globe icon to zoom to full extent and answer some questions about the problems with this projection at a global scale. This marks the end of the third video tutorial. You can pause, finish the questions, and uh, I hope that you learned uh, a lot in this.